Do you ever feel like you're just waiting and waiting and nothing ever happens, nothing ever changes? Well, today on Awakening with Amy, I'm going to talk about how to stop the waiting. Hi, Amy Valentine, life coach, hoping to awaken within you more awesome ways to create a life you really, really love. So today I wanted to talk about waiting, right? I think it was Tom Petty that said waiting is the hardest part. And you know what? He was right. It really is. Waiting sucks. Waiting for anything, whether it's, you know, waiting in line, you know, waiting for your food to come, waiting, waiting. It just, it just implies I'm not there yet, right? And we can really get stuck in different areas in our life with that concept. Like, I'm not ready yet. I'm waiting. It's not happening. What's going on? So I wanted to sort of, you know, f help kind of outline what waiting is and how to stop the wait. So first I want to talk about what waiting, what, what is the essence of waiting? It's actually, it's, it's feeling like I'm not fulfilled. I'm not there yet. I, I'm waiting for this to arrive. I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting for something to change. You know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Waiting is coming from a state of being. I'm lacking. I don't like where I am right now. So I'm waiting for something different. I'm waiting for something to change, whether it be in a relationship, a situation, a job, it doesn't really matter. The, the circumstances don't matter because we're always getting the essence of what we're focusing upon. It doesn't matter what the subject is. And if you really, really let that sink in and look at your own life, right? You'll start to see the truth in that, that we're always getting, we're always attracting and drawing to us the essence of what we're being, you know, who we are in any moment. So the way to stop waiting for anything is to understand that everything is already finished. Creation is finished. We're not here manifesting different things and, and scenarios in our life. We're actually just preparing our inner world, preparing ourselves for receiving the manifestation, right? So waiting implies lacking. Waiting is coming from the consciousness that I'm not there yet. It's like a detour, right? It's like you're, you're on the road, you're, you're taking a road trip, you're in the car and you start, you know, in this analogy, you start doubting, say your, your journey is getting to something that you want, right? You're starting to doubt. Am I going the right way? Am I doing the right thing? Is this what I really want? All those doubts and fears and worries start creeping in. And what does that do? It stops. It, 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 it detours the journey, right? It's not that the journey isn't leading you to what you want. It's that the doubting and the waiting is creating a detour right? So you could be in that detour for months and months and months, years and years and years, you know, depending on whatever it is, right? Think about it. I mean, I'm guilty. <laughs> I've done it, you know, not knowing any better, right? So waiting for anything to happen is forgetting our own power, our power as creators. Remembering that when we give it to ourselves first inside in consciousness, in our imagination, meaning, what would it feel like if I already had my manifestation, right? And think about it. Like Abraham Hicks says, everything that we want, there's only one reason why we want what we want. It's because we think we're going to feel better. So why not feel better now? And that is really how you stop the wait. 
You stop the waiting by realizing that there are infinite yous out there. There's infinite possibilities out there. And what you need to do is step into the, the reality, step into the you that you want to be before you see any evidence. You create the feeling within of having, of being fulfilled, of being set aside. And if you can't do that and think about your specific manifestation, don't worry. You don't have to. Just create the atmosphere inside yourself. All possibilities exist, and I'm going to choose to live in fulfillment. I'm going to be satisfied now. I'm going to be excited to see how this unfolds because I already know it's on its way to me. So stop the waiting. Stop the searching. Stop the, you know, wondering if it's, if it's coming yet. It's on its way. It is, everything is on its way to you. When you embody the essence of whatever it is that you want, you will feel it within and then you'll start to see signs without. So be it now. Have it now. Claim it within yourself because you can be, do, or have anything. So please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and have a great day.